Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. Today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to do this. Basically, how to blur faces, license plates, or anything you want to blur. Um, it, let me, before we get started, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. It's very tedious, so, but not difficult, it's just tedious. So without any further ado, let's get into iMovie and figure out how to do it. Okay, let's go ahead and open up iMovie. And first thing, first thing you're going to need is a clip. So I'm going to drag this clip down here. And this is the clip pre... This is the clip of my niece pre-editing. Okay, so you can see her face. But let's say, for example, you actually don't want to show the face. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to use picture in a picture, and we're going to keyframe. Okay, so we're going to need something to cover up her face with. So what I did is I just took a screenshot of her face, and then I blurred it using a graphics program, and I used a Gaussian Gaussian blur, or Gaussian blur, whatever it's called. But um, if you need a tutorial about how to do that, put a comment in the comments below and I will actually do a quick one showing you how to do that but for now I have it done already and I've already imported that into my movie library it's right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually drag it down and do a picture in a picture first thing you do is crop and make sure you, you click on fit and then we're gonna select the picture in a picture option okay now we're going to size it. Oh, we're going to actually make sure we're in the beginning of the video. Now, one more thing I want to do. I want to delete out the zero here. So I don't want any blurring happening. I mean, any transitions happening. So I'll put a, a zero here. Zero that out. Make sure it starts exactly at the beginning. And I'm going to find a point where her face starts to appear okay let me shrink this up a little bit and I'll start it right there and you can be as tedious as you want to be with this okay so but the most important thing is find your starting point and you're going to click on the key framing um, icon or, or button here and once you start here I'm using my arrow keys to advance the frame of the movie so I can do this exactly, okay? So I'm going to click start, and from here I go to my arrow keys on my keyboard, and I move the frame, frame by frame, because I want to make sure that I catch every frame and her face doesn't get exposed. So I'm just moving with my arrows and when I see that the video has moved I just move the image to kind of match and again right now I'm using the arrows so I'm getting really fine detail the, the longer and slower you do it the better you know cover up you're gonna do the better blurring you're gonna do or keyframing I should say again this is tedious it's not fun you don't want to have to do it to too many people in one image. And again, in iMovie, you, you would be limited since we're only technically allowed to do one picture in a picture. You'd have to, it would be a, it'd be a headache. I wouldn't even do it. You'd have to import, export, and all that jazz. So again, I'm going frame by frame here, and it's, you know, it's taking a while. I'm trying to be as accurate as possible. So you see, I'm going frame by frame with the number with the um, arrow keys as much as possible, and then that whenever it it moves, the uh, the video moves away from my cover. I move the cover to kind of cover up. 
So pretty, like I said, it's tedious. It's not, it's not the most fun thing to do. But at least we can do it with iMovie. Considering this is a free program that comes with Macs, it's just it's nice that uh, this option is still here. And they haven't taken that away. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stop. And I'm going to... I'm going to split this clip and just delete the rest of it. So I don't have to worry about it. That was enough to show the example here. So let's watch this now. Here we go. Now watch how the picture kind of just follows her, her face. So that's how you do it. Okay, I hope that helps. This is not difficult, but it's very tedious. And you have to be very monotonous if you really want to make sure you cover up the person's face. Or license plate or anything you want to cover up. Okay. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. We're just about halfway to that 5,000 mark. I'm trying to hit 5,000 subs in the year 2015 or more, of course. And we're just about halfway there. So if you're watching these videos and you've learned something, just go ahead and hit that subscribe and that thumbs up for me. Even if you're never going to watch again. Just help a brother out. Okay, thanks. And as always, peace and a whole bunch of aloha throwing back at you. Thanks for watching.